We got Ramsey in the building. Yo, yo, yo. What's hey, happening? Hey. What's I'm happening, there, bro? How are you? I'm there, I'm there. Thanks for having me, man. Thank you for coming through. You just told me off air that this is an exclusive. Yeah, first first interview of the year, man. First interview of the year. It's been a long time coming. Big up T. Come on, man. She set up, she patting this whole thing up. She set it up for me. And um, yeah, man, welcome back to music, bro. Welcome you, back to, to the you. scene. Welcome back to everything, really and truly. Um, I want to start off here because I feel like yeah, I mean, when I was looking and just digging through and just thinking like, yo, when she first approached me that like, yeah, Romsey, I was like, wow, I ain't heard of Romsey in a minute, you know, like what's, what's been happening with him? What's the guy on? Yeah, come bring him on. I would love to get him on and just literally just talk up some things. Yeah. But there's something that you said when I was doing my research that you said that you, you was at Wireless and Reading and Leeds at 16 years old, bro. 16, my boy. Bro, 16, that's young. I know. I've been, I've, I've been in the game for a sec, like. Yeah, like, that's... You me for, for a minute. And to jump on stage and to do it, and, and the thing is, you was actually shutting it down. I yeah, saw you yeah. water bending and everything. No, like, not, you, there was no fear, nothing like that. Yeah, you just... I had a big boy set, like, quite, yeah. For all three, I had a big boy set, like, there was actually, the crowd was kind of jam-packed. So, coming from London, um, being from where you're from, yeah. being able to do wireless at such a young age, yeah. and then somewhat kind of disappearing yeah, yeah um what happened in between that time to obviously yeah you just not really releasing much music um talking so to like, the mic bro so 16 i was signed okay from like 2018 to like 2019 when i dropped the y1c mixtape yes and then obviously after the duo i was independent and whatnot um still releasing but what I, like I was still, I was quite fully doing all right. Like I was supporting, I I had supported J One and that on mm. the One Wave tour. We done like a few cities all over the UK. But then, um, to be honest, bro, I think it was more like because I was so young when I got in the game. I went through a stage of like kind of anxiety. No, not even that. Just finding what I really wanted to do in terms of like my sound and yeah. just working on myself a bit more. Because when you're kind of young. You, you you don't really clock it, but you just you're just kind of jumping on whatever because mm. it's like I didn't really kind of in a sense make my own decisions when I was younger. It was more yeah. like whatever was rocking, whatever was vibing. Yeah, I'm just you rocking jump with on. It. Yeah, do you know what I mean. So I just went through a phase of just kind of working on myself. Obviously, just still working, recording and whatnot. But um, I just wasn't releasing as much. And then obviously, the whole dynamic of music changed with the whole um corona stuff in it yeah of course so like certain stuff i wanted to release was way out of the, the scene like it, mm. it wasn't kind of acceptable so then i had to kind of think raw cool they're not really taking this in so let me try to do something else and then who's not taking it in the audience or um, yeah the audience the okay. audience yeah, okay. yeah yeah they just like um the music i was making in like 2018 to drop that now it's like nah it's just, it wasn't really yeah it didn't really wasn't really sense. clicking yeah, yeah, yeah and it's good it's kind of good that you went through that process as well because now you kind of know what your audience wants yeah, from you and what they don't want from you. and that's not to say that you can't experiment as an artist because yeah. you're still developing but ultimately you've tried that sound that wasn't for me yeah we move on Hundo. do you know what i mean on the 220 freestyle there was a bar that you said that you could have been a baller like keenan yeah how good were you really though oh sick bro yeah? Sick, yeah like what position because um, you know people random do say that I was, I was left back I was left back left back yeah yeah I was a defender man okay w were you one of those ones that you could play in kind of any positions but you kind of just preferred yeah, left back yeah I would say like if it wasn't left back I would kind of be up front a little but my main position was left back left back yeah and is that the position that you wanted to be in that like you could no everyone wants to be a striker innit yeah that's that's but you just gotta play your part in it. Yeah, it's a team sport at the end of the day. Literally, so yeah. how close was you? Could you like semi pro level? Was it going on to professional? Like what? um, so like we just like a kind of had like a community team going on, and then I got scouted for Chelsea. Nice. Um, I can't lie, we went there and got battered though. <laughs> what was the score? I I, I can't remember. I'm real. I can't remember. We got smoked. But... Was you playing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was we got smoked, and then um. Yeah, and then I think I got I got scouted for Mill as well. Yeah, but then I just I don't know, man. I just um football as much as I love it. Yeah, it just it music kind of took yeah, over. It wasn't for me. We're gonna get into how music kind of took over. We're gonna get into quite a few things as well after yeah. doing my research. Um, there was a bar that you even mentioned that you said you didn't go uni, but we will get into that. But you just told me now, it's ten past six, but at six p.m. you yeah. just dropped 
your latest single. Yeah, Libertine out now, everyone, man, on all digital platforms. So, so tell us about Libertine quickly before we get into it. We've got about under a minute. So, um, what's it about? What's the track about? What's what's what what can we so expect li- from this? Song? Libertine is yo, like you get me. We can't wife no guy that goes Libertine. So she's <laughs> out, if she's outside doing the most, brother. Don't please. I'm mean, get me. I'm just trying to help the brothers out, man. That's all. <laughs> No so if they is. literally go Liberty, it's a no-go. It's a no-go. It's a no-go. It's a no-go, man. All right, Rumsey, Liberty, first time playing on Represent Radio. Let's get into it. Liberty, Rumsey, out now. Check out the visuals. Samuel Enny, giving you throwbacks, big hits, and the best in new music on Drive Time. Love you, Samuel. The best in new music, of course. Um... Yeah, that's Libertine. It's out now, oh, no. and they can stream it up as well. Yes, it's all on, yes, yes. all over, out everywhere, now, everything, everything, everywhere. Digital everything. platforms. Um, you didn't go uni. No. Why? It's just it wasn't for you. Worked for me, man. Yeah. Worked for what me. did you do in the meantime? How did you keep busy? How did you? I went was, college. I went college. I went you went college. college. Yeah, yeah. I went um, college. Was it straight music after that? After college, you just wanted um, to do music or football? No. So, because I was still like, even in college, like I remember one time. This one, like a proper thought, like a mad star. I remember one time. Mm. I had a show in Cyprus. Okay. And it was on like a Friday or something, but I couldn't come in. So, but one thing I, I liked about my college was that my teacher was very reasonable with like what I was doing. Mm. I think in, when you kind of show them what you're doing and they know that it's proper and whatnot, they kind of invest in it and let you do your thing as long as I don't really take the mic and go overboard with it. But no, there was, my college was sick, man. That was proper behind me, but um, yeah, man, college, just college. And then after I done college, yeah, in a, yeah, basically music. Still. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Straight music. away music. Yeah. I mean, I mean, you jumped on stage at sixteen, bro. Wireless. <laughs> so clearly, that was the key, that was the key yeah. for you. Still, I just, you notice I just knew what I wanted to do, and then you just from went young with it. and just went with it. Never looked back. And That's it. Kept it Did you have that encouragement with parents as well? Like, yeah, were yeah, they yeah. very supportive yeah, of you? Hundred percent, man. Hundred percent. I mean, at first, it's like, mm. it's like, mm, no, nah, but I feel like once it starts to, but. My mum was behind it from 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 early. From, the, from early, man. Um, you said that they want me to do Afro swing, but that's tired now. Yeah. So but what yeah, you, does that mean? You won't make no more Afro no, swing let me tracks. Address this, let me, or address like, this, bro. The whole right, cool with the whole Afro swing. Talk us in the mic. My bad. Um, with the whole Afro swing thing, it's not like I'm not gonna release anything melodic or the old Romsey that they they want to hear. But there's like a certain when you when you hear Afro swing, what sound? There's like a pro, there's like a sound yeah to it and that's do you feel like that's dated that, and now. That's, yeah that's just tired bro that, that's like, dated like, now. I, when I say Afro swing I mean like the 2016 the yeah. 2017 Afro swing yeah 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 dude obviously there's a new thing coming through now and that's the more the melodic stuff I will approach but that whole 2016 2017 sound yeah it's, it's, in your it's opinion not it what genre is like the front running now coming out of the UK, London in particular? Um, what would you say for me? Yeah, if we're just going off the charts and what's kind of trending yeah. and stuff, I would say melodic drill, melodic drill. But they like they say melodic drill, they what they call it commercial drill. Mm. Have you heard of RB drill? Yeah, 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 okay, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, I've, I've actually done an RB drill um track myself. Okay. Not released it though. It's not released yet. No, nah, but wait, 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 yeah, I've, I've approached a lot of genres, but it's like <laughs> as we was talking off air, like UK is a tricky one, isn't it? Yeah. So it's like not to say someone else will, will vibe with it, but mm. with UK, it's like I don't know, man. It's just tricky. You got to kind of play it safe. And as, and as I told you as well, um, just don't feel like you have to please the UK. Yeah, no, hundred. You can go outside there. Yeah. There's other cities out there. Um, Europe is big. Asia is big. America's big. You can find your market where it is. Man. You um, Faye's directed a few of your videos. What's that relationship like? Do you? Faye. Yeah, yeah, Faye. yeah. So he's directed a few of your videos. Um, what's that relationship kind of like? Do you kind of chime in with the creative control as well? Is that just all yeah, him? Yeah, no, no, no. With I, 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 I get involved. You um, get involved. We've Faye done too much. I worked with Faye on too much. Yeah, yeah. we um basically kind of done the treatment together, but I actually like went around. Like took pictures of the location, mm. wrote down what I'd want to do at this location. So like in terms of the creative side, I'm hundred percent involved. All the way. All yeah. the way. All the way. All the way. From production to visuals to lyrics, of course, because yeah, yeah. Of course, of but course. Yeah, like every all the back end stuff that the fans don't really tend to see, I'm involved. You're involved in it. Yeah, hundred percent. We're gonna get into um 
Arsenal versus West Ham. That was a snippet. Okay, wow. Yeah, you at the really end. done your research. Uh, wow. Listen, you came to see... There's a reason why T told you to come see me. <laughs> yeah, just say that. Um, at the end of too much. And when I heard it, I was like, wait, hold on. Why is he not released this yet? But we're going to get into that. As I said, New Music Fridays, these are songs that have dropped today. We just played Libertine, which just dropped at 6pm. Millions just dropped this today with Muna Duke. 10 to the O. Yes, Romzi, we've got into a lot of things. Yes, um, Yeah, I wanted to talk about the Arsenal versus West Ham snippet. We was talking, I feel like I should be your creative director now because I was giving you a couple of ideas there. Yeah, man. Um, so when can we hear that? Is that something that you're planning to release? Um, uh, I feel like it was really good to like kind of add that on. So that one, I'm a bit more mad about it. You know, so mad, I was actually meant to drop it. Mm. And then what had happened... Um, had some difficulties like some technical difficulties with the artwork and then I just kind of brushed it to the side I think you should yeah no nah, I think you should everyone's been asking me since yeah. since the snippet come out but um you never know I might surprise them when uh there you go you know what I'm saying just go. drop it like all that. I'm saying is just get an Arsenal top <laughs> get a West Ham top go Arsenal Stadium go West Ham Stadium yeah, 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 you know what I mean the concept is there the concept is there on AAA you said you signed your first deal for six figures not four just to correct people yeah 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 um, obviously, you just told me that was your first deal. First deal. I thought you might have been talking about something else. I wanted you to clear that up, but no, you cleared that up deal. anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. First, first deal. Um, what was that whole kind of moment? Just to even just go back off of that before we get into the game, Sam, for a bit. Um, just to go back off of that, what was that moment like for you signing that deal? And did you kind of feel like, oh my gosh, my life's changed now? Or is it somewhat there's a pressure to kind of deliver now because you're signed? No, because um, in terms of the music, the music was always there. It was more like. Talking to the mic, bro. I'll be real, it was more like, it was surreal, man. I, can't, I was still in school, bro. Okay. So like, I'm oh, signing okay. my deal and then I think we probably done the deal on like a weekend or something. So then I'm, I've got school on like Monday and I'm going back into school and then, but it's so mad because I didn't announce it two oh. like, months after. But obviously like, yeah, it was just sick, man. It was like, bro, I just, I just felt like a big dog in school, innit? Yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Just, but, but still humble, like, you get me? Still like doing what I need to do. But no, nah, it was just... I was young in it, so mm. it was just like, raw that. Like, so like now you're crazy. back independent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 2022. Mm-hmm. What's this year saying for Romsey? Um, I'll be real for me. What I want to do is just, I'm done with like holding back on singles, man. Like, Please do. I you just want to, I just want to release, yeah. yeah. I just want to release, just be more consistent because that's like, like the number one letdown of me. Like, yeah, I, yeah. Like I, I would sometimes I would drop. What's the procrastination course. for though? What is what, what? Why? Why have you been procrastinating, bro? Um, so like because you know you got the audience. Yeah, but I, I don't know, man. I feel like I've just grown into it, but obviously now that that stops. Like I'm, you get me. This is my third, it's my third, second, third, or third release of yeah. the year. So that in itself, and what four months in, so. Yeah last year being boy. consistent yeah you and you've dropped a video for it yeah 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 two videos one audio so you get me so, so yeah let's 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 yeah i mean to the, do better than last the last the year exactly before, you know what i'm saying that's that's what i want and do. you do know if you get invited back to wireless again you gotta do yeah go, 100, go have, yeah yeah, yeah. shell it 10 times more. shell it 10 times are you ready for some for bit yeah let's go man all right cool let's kick it off, man. um if you if you if you're just tuning in if it's your first time listening i played some for bit with charlotte and um, she aced it. She got up to the letter K. And what that is, um, we change it. Each guest, each week that we have, we kind of change the rules to some for bet and what it pertains. So we have to literally give them a topic or subject and they have to go through the letters of the alphabet in 60 seconds just to see where they end up on the leaderboard. We have a leaderboard right now. Charlotte is on the letter K and it's down to Romsey to beat the letter K. His task is obviously to name the areas in London from A to Z, yeah. if he can get to Z. I don't think anyone can ever get to Z in 60, 60 seconds. But before we get into that, Pusha T just dropped his album and we're gonna get into this, featuring Ye, Dreaming of the Past. The word game that comes at you fast, seeing how many letters you can get through in a limited time. Thanks, Glow. Yeah, Sam for bit. That's the letter K. Mm-hmm. Romsey, are you ready? Ready, my bro. Yeah, I'm gonna set the timer for you. <clears throat> Um, this is the leaderboard. Charlotte was the first person to play this. Big up Charlotte, man. Yeah, she got this. Uh, she got onto the letter K. Let's see if you can beat that. Do L M Mandem. Do not help. <laughs> Do not help. I'm going to set the timer now on my phone. Let's go. Cool. Um, let me set this up quickly. 60 One. seconds, yeah. 60 seconds, and let's see where you can get up to. Just a reminder. Romsey has to name areas in London. 
oh. from going through the letters of the alphabet. Cool. So yeah? Yeah, yeah. Are you ready? I'm about to start my timer ready, now. Ready, ready, let's go. Alright, cool. In three, two, one, go. Abbey Wood. Yep. Broccoli. Yep. Charlton. Yep. Elephant and Castle. Yep. Let me see, bro. Huh? A B C D. Oh. Deptford. Yep. The Elephant and Castle. Yep. Keep going. Uh you got F. Man, them don't help. <laughs> well, time's ticking. 30 Buck. seconds. Okay, yeah. G. Um, G. <laughs> G. Um, 20 seconds. Bro, G. Oh, my days. G, 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 G. 10 seconds. Nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, <laughs> two. <laughs> what? Hey, later, man. The game is not for me, man. Let me just stick to making my music, bro. You lot got me sh- flipping, struggling on G like I'm a bad man, bro. Hey, what was G- G- oh, my days, Greenwich. Greenwich. Wow, so Gantz Hill. No, do you know it's? Hey, listen for everyone tuned in. Yeah. Under pressure is very different. <laughs> Allow me. You get me? Allow me. <laughs> I Bro, make music, Greenwich, I write Gantz lyrics. Hill. What's after I'm G? Not... <laughs> me, man. L. You had Limehouse. K. Yeah, yeah. Kingston. Do you know what's so mad though? Do you know what's so mad? Yeah. I'll be real. Limehouse would have not come to my head for L. Really? What would it? What, what would have come to your head for you? But you, because you, you're saying it's London. I would have said something like Luton. Do you nah, know what that's, I mean? That's yeah. what I'm saying though. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. I would have said something like Luton. You get it? Like, but listen. Yeah, all Win right. Some you lose some, innit? Win some Slash, you lose some. Man. This is your first interview of the year. Yeah, I just want to say thank you. Big up you for coming thank through. You for having me, and of man. course, obviously, drop him the latest single that's out right now on your YouTube. Stream it up on all digital platforms. Yes, Romzy has said that he's going to be consistent this year. I'm going to hold you to that as well. Release Arsenal versus West Ham. I'm saying it again. You, Management is here. Man, in my hair as well. <laughs> uh, thank you for coming through. Appreciate you. You killed time for bet, even though you ended on G. It's all right. It's all right. We got that on the leaderboard there. So it's all good. Libertine. Libertine, sorry. Libertine. 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 Out now, my That's people. That's how you know man. I actually haven't been to the club as well, to be fair. Out I haven't been now, to the... my people. All right, here we go. <laughs> 